Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So, we are currently in the Inguithan dig site, which I think is the, the part where I struggled the most while I was testing out PoE2. There's a couple of really nasty fights in this area and I'm going to attempt to do it with only the, I guess you could call it like the default party with only story companions. And if I find that it proves to be a little bit too much, I have a plan B which involves uh, recruiting a custom companion. Hopefully it will not come to that, but let's see how it goes. But first of all, we are going to start by leveling up our characters. So, I'm still going to be going for mechanics here on my rogue. And I guess I can put some more points into... Maybe Diplomacy. I also have Bluff, but... Mm. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go Deceptive this time. I kind of went like Benevolent and Honest in the first game, but since we have so many points into Bluff right now, I think I'm gonna go for Bluff and Streetwise here. Now, to level up, we are now level 4, which means... Oh, it says here, nice. Uh, so we un unlock power level 2 at level 4 for multi-class characters. And for example, it says here this power level is unattainable for multi-class characters. And level 7 is level 19. So, very different from a pure class. And when we unlock a new power level, we get an ability for both classes. So you get two ability points. But you need to spend one in each of the classes. You cannot just spend two here or two in the rogue. So to start, I think I'm going to be starting with Marksman on the ranger side of things. Of things, sorry. <laughs> uh, Marksman will give you plus five accuracy with ranged weapons ag against targets that are four meters away or more. The other choices here would be Gunner to have faster reload speed, but I think this is not as important as being accurate right now. Uh, we also have two-handed style, which grants you a damage bonus while wielding a two-handed weapon, and an arquebus counts as that. And that's really the only thing I wanted from this level. There's a couple of cool things here, like heal companion, or making the companion knock somebody prone. But these are things that I would mostly consider if this were like a, a pure ranger. Since we also have rogue abilities, I don't really have the space for these ranger abilities because I think a multi-class has like 27 points in total at max level to spend, which means you can't just purchase everything you want. <laughs> so we're going to focus on marksman here and press next. And in the Rogue Tree, there's actually a bunch of things that I want. So, from this level, I want Smoke Veil to make myself invisible for 5 seconds. It's important for the Assassin. I want Blinding Strike because it can blind somebody for 15 seconds. And as you can see right here, Blind is a pretty nasty debuff. It gives a penalty of 5 to Perception, plus 50% recovery time. The target is flanked, has less accuracy, has less range and cannot use gaze abilities. So this is actually a very, <laughs> a very, a very cool ability. Um, I also want Dirty Fighting, which converts some hits into crits, it's very important. And I also want Two-Handed Style, because I want to mostly be using two-handed weapons, probably Arquebuses, but it kind of depends on the items we find throughout the game. Uh, but yeah, hopefully two-handed weapons is what I'm going to be using. And for now, I'm going to be swapping between the Arquebus for the opening salvo and then probably the Warbow if I just want quicker firing rate. So, those are my choices. I'm going to take Marksman in the Ranger tree and I'm going to take two-handed style on the Rogue tree. I'm taking this one over all the others because this one is a passive buff. So the same argument I used for the um, for this choice right here. This is a passive buff, it always works. I don't have to rely on procs. So I think this is the best choice, at least for the start. Um, we also have a new weapon proficiency. And over here, I'm not really sure what to take. 
I don't plan on using melee weapons ever on this character. He does not have the stats for it, specifically Constitution and res um, Resolve. So all of this is out of the question. So that leaves us with bows, firearms or magical implements. So I could go for the war bow, which will just give me slower, heavier draws. The war bow can penetrate the toughest armor, so more penetration at the cost of recovery speed. Uh, but that's kind of what I have the arquebus for. And then we also have the hunting bow, which I kind of like, which gives us rapid shot. So it allows for rapid draw and fire of arrows at the cost of accuracy. So my thinking here is that eventually this character will be so accurate, because I want to build him like that, that this penalty here doesn't really matter in terms of comparing it to the benefit of the rapid shot. So I was kind of torn between these two, but I guess for the start we don't have that much accuracy yet. I think I'm gonna go for the overdraw here and just take the war bow. That's a choice, so we're gonna take marksman from the ranger, two-handed style from the rogue and war bow overdraw as our next weapon proficiency. Level up done. <clears throat> Let's go for it there. This one's going to be much simpler. So, Athletics. Um, I'm going to put some more points into Intimidate because I think that the highest survival check we've seen so far was 3, I think. And we have like 7 with the party and 5 individually. So, it looks to me like I can spread this around between at least 2 different skills. I didn't actually look online for it, but... Kind of makes sense to me. In the Fighter 3, we have the Fighter Stances, which kind of makes it there a little bit more versatile. And I believe it's what we're going to take. What we're going to take. So, this is a model ability, and the Fighter trains in the ability to adopt specialized fighting stances. Each stance excels at handling a different aspect of combat. Uh, Defender Stance is apt for holding fast against groups of enemies. Cleaving Stance is effective when attacking several enemies at once, while Warrior Stance is best for standing toe-to-toe -to -toe against a single enemy. So, again, versatility is cool. <clears throat> it's probably going to be my choice. The other choice is Into the Fray. This is something that already existed in PoE 1. You can just pull an enemy into you to kind of take someone away from your backline. And you can even daze them in the process, if successfully hit. Uh, other than that, we have the usual passives for more damage or more defenses. And we also have this one. What is this? Oh, 30% of graces converted to hits with proficient weapons. That's actually not bad. Huh. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, for now, I'm going to be taking fighter stances. And you might be thinking, why the hell aren't you taking weapon and shield style? It's clearly the choice that makes the most sense. Uh, for right now, because I need all the deflection I can take. And the reason for that is, when we go over to our other class in this multi-class, the Rogue class, there's nothing here that really that I really need at this point. I don't need to go invisible, and I don't want to go invisible with my tank. I don't particularly need Blinding Strike, I don't have the accuracy for it. And then all that remains are the passives. And the passives are more damage, more damage, more damage, uh, fighting with two weapons, I'm thinking of using a shield, so not here, and finally weapon and shield style. So instead of taking it in the fighter side, I'm taking it on the rogue side. And for weapon proficiency, he is proficient with scimitars, uh, with sabers, sorry, <laughs> and with medium shields, which I think is what really matters here. And I was thinking about the next choice being the mace. Because this one has the rending smash. The character swings the mace with massive force, damaging the target's armor at the cost of recovery time. So my idea here, by the look of it, is that this will apply some kind of debuff to the enemy that will reduce his armor. So not only will it benefit Eder's subsequent attacks, but it will also benefit the entire party. So that's what makes sense to me. It's going to be my choice here. So fighter stances from fighter, weapon and shield style from rogue, 
and Mace as our weapon proficiency. And finally, we have Shoti. So Shoti, I'm gonna keep going for Arcana here. I'm gonna give her one more point in Religion. And then I'm probably gonna also put some points into History. Because I don't have any other character that's uh, pumping up History here. And now we only have one ability left. I was looking over the spells. There are some spells which are interesting, naturally. But I think I want to, once again, go for the passive choice here. And we're going to need all the defenses we can get, <laughs> especially for this section. So I'm going to go for the weapon and shield style, just to make her extra tanky if I need her to off tank, which might come into play, trust me. Um, as for weapon proficiencies, she already has a proficiency in the crossbow. Uh, so that's a ranged weapon for her. She has the hatchet, which makes sense and works with her sickle. She has the small shield, which works with her lantern. And I think there's a lot of choices she could go for, but I don't know what kind of items the game has to allow me to make a, a more informed choice. So there was something that looked interesting to me here, and that's the, um, the pike. So this is a weapon that has reach. Like it says right here, increase reach, which means I can have her be, uh, behind it there and behind Mr. Piggy and just poking people with the pike, which makes sense to me by itself. And the model is actually exposing strikes. You can use the pike's reach to set your opponents off guard, exposing their weak points to your allies at the cost of reduced damage. So I don't really need a lot of damage coming in from her, that's not the point of this character. But if she can essentially buff the rest of the party by debuffing the enemy, it would be a good improvement. So I'm going to try this out and see how it works. So weapon and shield style, pike for exposing strikes. And that is her level up done. Okay, so let's begin with the foreman's quarters, which I think is not as violent as, <laughs> as these areas. And let's see what we can find here. Oh, and before I do that, before I forget, <clears throat> there's actually something I also want to discuss here, which is a difference in the way that the game works between PoE 1 and PoE 2. So resting in PoE 1, at least in Path of the Damned, you need to have camping supplies to do it. In PoE 2, you don't need that. Also in PoE 1, you have food, which you can consume to give you buffs, just like over here. The difference being, in PoE 1, you just eat the food whenever you want, and you can even stack multiple sources of, uh, of buffs from food. In this game, you can't do that. But what you can do is when you rest, you actually need to use food to remove injuries from the character if he's injured, like if he went down. And this is actually the way that you can gain buffs from the food. So I'm actually going to buff my party here. Oh, and the other nice thing is that in PoE 1, food, uh, food buffs lasted for a specific amount of time, like 60 seconds. Over here, it lasts until your next rest, which is very good. <laughs> so what do we have here? I don't want to eat the really good food just yet. We gotta go over the buffs that we have. So 10 fortitude, this is very good. Especially for my rogue. Intellect, max health, an egg for constitution, fire kelp, healing received, resolve, kappa leaf, hostile effect uh, 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 immunity, recovery time, also cool. Lagger plus 3 to Might. 2 Con, 1 Might. Not bad. 2 Dexterity, 2 Might. Damage taken reduction. Resolve. Action speed. In Ooh, 2 Intellect. Why, fishy. Nice. Max Health. Perception. Okay. So looking at this. This would go to my Rogue. I would probably give something like this to it there to take less damage unless there's a better choice, naturally. 
Maybe something like this as well. More health. More healing received, also not bad. More deflection right here with resolve. Sorry, just looking over this again just to make sure. This would be a cool default option for either Constitution and Might is always good. Dexterity, Might, Resolve, Action Speed, Dexterity, Intellect, Max Health, Perception. Okay, okay. So I'll have to look over this a little bit better when we go for the, the big fight there. We have a Cave Beetle, which is not very threatening right now. And I want to I wanna change my formation here. I want something like this. <clears throat> or actually, no, wait. I want something like this. Okay. So there's a cave beetle. Whoa, whoa. Look. And there's at least... There's two brine imps. Okay. Let's swap for our arquebus for the opening salvo. Ah, I also have to choose my stance. So cleaving stance... When the fighter kills with a melee weapon, it will trigger an instant full attack on a nearby enemy. Sounds good, but sounds more offensive. Warrior stance. The fighter gains increased accuracy and deflection. Good. And finally, defender stance. Plus 3 enemies engaged. Minus 5% damage taken per engaged target. Okay, so right here I think it probably makes sense to go with the uh, with this stance okay I got it. let's see how you can do this so you go there you go there uh, you are not gonna fight just yet let's see what we can do here and these are higher level so I think I want to focus my rogue on the brine imps <laughs> Okay, so Ether is fighting right now. Or, I mean, right now. Let's try to knock this guy down. Mr. Piggy, go help. Shoti, give us Holy Meditation. For extra defenses. Then a Blessing, and then we'll see. Do I have range for this guy? I do. So let's give him a Wounding Shot. And then I guess we can also give this guy a wounding shot okay we are resolute wait are there more beetles than there were before it looks like it <laughs> i don't like that um okay so mr piggy he's kind of going over there that's fine i guess so shoti is gonna buff us with blessing yes let me see, did I shoot this guy? Yeah, I crit the Cave Beetle for 35 pierce damage. Let's swap for our Warble for more consistent damage. And how does this work? Plus 50% recovery time, no thank you. I have enough penetration for all of these enemies. So, I'm gonna focus on this guy with the Crippling Strike. And you guys are good to go. I'm flanked, I don't like that. Ooh, he's focusing on my rogue. I don't like that. Not one bit. Okay, extra perception. I'm gonna go for an interdiction to try and hit both of these brine imps. Okay, that one's dead. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna start focusing on something that we can kill a little bit more close by. So go for a wounding shot on this one that Piggy is hitting. I missed, I don't like it. Shoot again. Okay. These three are dazed, awesome. Go fight. A good shot, a good shot. Okay, perfect, perfect. This one died, this one is near death. Let's go for a knockdown on this one. Okay, knocked down. Dead. Let's go kill this one. 
Mr. Piggy is still fine. Mr. Piggy is less fine. But still manageable. Uh, let's heal him up with the Holy Radiance. Perfect. Crippling Strike here. Crippling Strike there. Oh, sorry, this one. Crippling Strike there. No prisoners. Everybody's missing this cave beetle, man. Are you not flanking him? Too tall. <laughs> Mr. Piggy, don't die, please. Okay, go. She has her AI turned off for some reason. Okay, so go there. And let's flank. I hear you. Perfect. Let's go for a crippling strike. This guy is immune to mind effects. That's whatever. Let's try and knock him down if we can. Got you now. Ooh. A nice shot from my rogue and we knocked him down. Good. Go again. No one that, right? Perfect. Okay. But yeah, th this, this wasn't one of the hard fights, by the way. This is just a normal fight. What is this? A champion's medallion, a quest item. A quest item? For what? Don't know. This small other disc was apparently to be worn as a medallion. One side of the disc depicts a figure with its arms raised triumphantly above its head, a blade in one hand and a shield in the other. The other side of the disc has been worn smooth with time and is unreadable. Sorry, just drinking some tea. Note to Foreman. One of the workers dug up this old other medallion in the sub-level yesterday. I doubt other EC would be interested in it, in it. And besides, it looks like it's worth something. Might be nice to surprise the crew with a bonus. Okay. Well, so, what else we have? I'll deal with this. It's finished. Some healing stuff. Let's get out <clears throat> and let's go for something else. So we can stealth again. Not going over here naturally. <clears throat> it is suicide. I want to see if I can use food and possibly Berat's locket. Uh, bell. What is this called? Berat's Black Bell to help me out on this. I didn't have this when I tried doing this area previously because I had no save game to import. Ah, also something that helps is this right here. This gunpowder barrel. If you wait for enemies to come close and you blow it up, it can deal a lot of very nice damage. Okay, so right now we're just gonna go up here. And this is gonna be my choke point of choice for what we're gonna do. And we have a worm, and then we have four boars. Okay. So, given that this is a choke point, I don't expect to be engaged by very many enemies. So probably the warrior stance is going to be the better choice. This would leave us at 56 deflection. <clears throat> okay. I don't think that's bad. And something else I want to do is use my rogue to place some traps. And I think you can only place one trap at a time. Whoa, whoa, look. And also something to note, I, I, gotta, I gotta mention all these things. When you set a trap, you can see here that it makes some noise. And if it's in the hearing range of enemies, they will come to investigate. And that might be something to actually, you know, make use of. So I'm gonna go for this bear claw trap. Uh, or just or just this one maybe maybe this one right the corrosive claw trap let's see so I want Mr. Piggy over here you over there no 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 I said over here thank you and there's so many enemies Jesus Christ so uh, where's my thing here I'm gonna place this over here Okay, so they heard it. They're coming in. I'm gonna swap for my Archivus. 
and let's see what happens. I'm going to slow down time as much as possible. Okay, so I can already open up with a wounding shot on the worm and also make myself visible with Eder to make sure they come and aim at Eder before they go, they go and aim at my rogue. So let's leave stealth. Okay. So let's stay here so we don't get hit by a trap. Trap triggered. He's sickened. He's also sickened. I actually don't know what sickened does. Uh, hold shift for more information. What does sickened do? I cannot see. Well, that's sad. In any case, <clears throat> track was uh, trap was triggered. Let's go fight. Try and knock him down. Mr. Piggy, help out. I'm shooting this guy. Shoti, buff us up with some defenses here. Oh! Oh, perfection! 71 damage, just like that. I like that. Wounding shot on this guy. That was an excellent start, by the way. I think it was fairly obvious that was the case, but... I just wanted to make sure everybody understood the idea. So, we're going to change for our ore bow. This boar is already half HP, which is very good, because none of his friends have yet to come here. Although, these worms are going to start shooting from afar, and that's kind of a pain. Let's buff with a blessing. Okay, so we're aiming at this guy... Yeah, so the good bit here is that the choke point is playing in our favor. Just like in PoE 1, they cannot move past their, their um, friends here. We can just work on... Wow, 28 damage? Okay. So the board hurts quite a bit. And I could go for an interdiction, but I don't think at this point it matters that much, because if I daze them... They're not hurting me right now, so I don't need to reduce their damage. Let's just see what happens here. Because this is kind of pushing Mr. Piggy out of the way. And it's making him tank, which I did not want. Uh, let's see if I can heal Mr. Piggy. He's taken too much damage already. And I want to try and work on these worms that are being very annoying. Mr. Piggy, don't die. Come here. Okay, good, good. We knocked that guy down. Okay, so Mr. Piggy is effectively blocked, but doesn't matter. As long as he's alive, that's kind of the best outcome for me. Because I don't have the, um, the bonded grief debuff. Okay, if there is tanking, that's okay. I'm shooting this guy. Awesome. Ooh, right, I forgot about this. If you kill one of the worms near the others, <laughs> they get enraged. Which means they get, let me see here, they get strong and quick, which I believe is plus 5 to might and plus 5 to dexterity. <clears throat> Wonderful, isn't it? Let's see what I can do here. And I'm going to save my last spell from Shoti to actually heal, to use Restore. Because one thing you can use, which is also very, very powerful, is Blessed Harvest. What this does is it reaps an enemy in the name of Gone. If the enemy is bloodied or near death, they will receive significantly more damage from Blessed Harvest. And you can see right here, man, this deals 134 damage. The lower they are, the more damage they take, but you have to hit. Which is the problem here. So I think I'm going to save it up for um, healing purposes. <clears throat> I'm feeling fine actually right now, but that can change very quickly. As we can kind of see, they're taking some damage. He can still tank one more shot, I think. But Sh oh, ah, be because Shoti is also tanking. Okay, let's heal up. Don't want to wait for this to to get messy. Let's just do the right thing here. 
Uh, let's buff it there and then crippling strike on this guy. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with this warbow and the performance of my rogue right now. Crippling strike over there. We have full penetration. Okay, he's hobbled. Good. I think he's trying to gore some. <laughs> he's dead, bitch. Okay. Shotty, go flank. She cannot go flank. Okay. Dude, Mr. Piggy did a very good job at killing this board over here. Okay, he's flanked. Let's speed this up. And done. This was actually a very clean fight. And you know what I forgot? As I usually do, I forgot the goddamn food buff. <laughs> I always forget the food buffs. Even if they're per rest, I still forget them. It's amazing, man. I, 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 my brain just doesn't function well. Okay, so I want the candied nuts over here. And... Um, so this makes me lose dexterity, but will, it will also make me take 15% less damage. But I might just actually want more healing received or more HP. I think I'm gonna go for more HP. I don't... Now, let me see if you guys agree. 15% less damage taken is something that always works. While just having a little bit more HP only counts like once. I know I'm not explaining myself very well, but I think it makes sense. This will proc on every single hit while just having more HP doesn't really mean anything. Um, so for Shoti, I don't even know what Shoti wants. Honestly, maybe just Constitution and Might, because she's I don't need Intellect. She's not going to be casting that much. Maybe just this. And can we craft? Oh, we can craft. Plus 5 accuracy, 15% chance to interrupt on scoring a hit. Oof. Perception, resolve, and intellect? God damn. Con, might, and dex. Yeah, drugs. I don't like saying this, but drugs are amazing. <laughs> in the game, in the game. Don't go and tell your parents I said that. Uh, so intellect might... There's a lot of very good foods here. Stone joint. What is this? 10 crush damage per 3 seconds minus 35% action speed and stride for 30 seconds. Whoa, yeah, that was a, that's what I'm gonna say. This deals 100 crush damage over time? Dude... I think I'm gonna try this. Potions, defensive. Invisibility, that's awesome actually. Superior elemental defense. Oh, I cannot craft that, I can only craft this one. Plus 8 to all defenses against body affliction attacks. Plus 8 to all defenses against mind of... Okay. Scrolls for elemental damage. This is fire, ray of fire. General offense. Oh, that's cool. Requires 7 arcana though. 5 arcana. Healing and support. Firebrand. Forms a powerful sword with a blade of pure fire with the reader. No, 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 no. no thank you. Scroll of moderate healing, scroll of minor healing, and I think I'm gonna craft... Oh, it requires money as well. I think I'm gonna craft one of these. Although, immediate regret, I should, <laughs> I should have crafted the scroll of Moonwell. Oh well. Okay, so in terms of drugs, what do I actually have on my characters? Let's see. Oh, but if I want to craft, I need to be I need to be resting. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. 
Ratiti Root. I, I think I'm gonna buff this. Uh, probably for my rogue. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's rest. We're gonna have our buffs now. Cool. And we can see here they last forever until we rest. And in terms of drugs and poisons, let's see. So I am gonna use a corrosive cloud trap. I don't think I'm gonna use that or that, at least for right now. I wanna use this poison and I wanna use this chew here. Uh, I want you to have this. No, no, like this. And in terms of drugs, what do you have? Concentration plus 10 will, health restored, not bad. Any more drugs that I have? Uh, are these drugs consumables? Oh, they are. A potion. Combat only. 45 seconds of three more armor rating. Yes, please. Mouth char. Interesting. A Taru Turu Chew as well. Very cool. Cinder Bombs will blind. Sorry, I gotta read this because I don't wanna die. <laughs> I don't wanna make a fool of myself here, if possible. Uh, I wanna use this. You are not really gonna be using this, I don't think. Or an antidote. So let's take this scroll of Fan of Flames. Fan of Flames, I mean. Okay. <clears throat> so. The idea here is, I'm gonna use this very same choke point to try and accomplish something here. What is it? We're gonna go back to our Archivus. I am going to place a Corrosive Cloud Trap like over here, I guess? Sure. And now, we are going to position properly because I'm gonna need to do something with my Rogue. <clears throat> so. I want you guys like this. Hmm? So, uh, la oops. Hmm? Like this, maybe. Yes. And now, what I want to do is, I want to use this fire barrel, this gunpowder barrel, like I described before. And I want to see how many enemies I can catch nearby. I know I can catch this swarm, at least. And there's also a young panther that patrols. So, ideally... Ideally, something like right now should work. Where are you going, dude? No, 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 no. From here. I know there's a way to do it from here. I think it might require a specific angle. Let me just quick save in case this goes wrong. Okay. Shoot. Oh, yeah, okay, they're, they're looking, they're looking. Perfect. Okay, so. Uh, they should be coming for me. Right, guys. Let me see if I have to reveal myself or something. Because I don't want them to regenerate. Nope, they're coming, they're coming. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, this nearly... What, what is going on? Why is this guy alone here? I don't understand. Something... Very strange <laughs> is happening right now. I'm gonna be completely honest, if this guy came alone... I'm... I'm gonna take that. <laughs> I am gonna take that. Bring them down. Especially because I cannot move my rogue over there anymore. 
because he's blocked off by the choke point. Well, this is unexpected. They should have all come at the same time, but if this is a strategy, it's very interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, the problem is, I think the, the people I damaged over here, well, I guess one died, maybe. But the others that I damaged, I don't think they... I think they're gonna heal while out of combat, which is the real problem here, I guess I could say. So I want to do this again. Okay. And let's see if I can use it there to pull this time, because I don't want to get stuck uh, outside. And you can just pull with whatever. Like this, maybe. So go for the crossbow. Uh -huh. I have my food buffs. Yeah, but very strange. Every single time I tried this before, when I blew this up, everybody just came running over here. I think it's because the barrel didn't explode right away. Interesting. Okay. So now, combat started. Let's go back over here. Yeah, but now he's bringing his friends. Yeah, there you go. And that's the problem there. Okay, <clears throat> let me see. This lasts for 15 seconds. So I'm gonna wait a bit for this young Drake to come in. And honestly, you shouldn't be in front of Mr. Piggy. Okay, so do this. Come back up here. Yep. You step on the trap. Perfect. So the problem with this guy is he deals a lot of fire damage in an area. Which I would really like to avoid if possible. <clears throat> They're all clumped up over here. We're gonna use Shoti to give us Holy Meditation. You are gonna use this and try to knock down a panther. And I... I'm going to try and apply this stone joint on my arquebus to then shoot this young drake. Okay, I think that's, that worked. Yep. So now, let's see if this works properly. I think it's the first time I'm using a poison in this game. <laughs> we hit, but... Oh, right, because the stone joint also has to... Ah, oh, wow, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If the shot hits, I think the stone joint should also trigger. That's very strange. But maybe I should have buffed with Blessing before attempting that. I don't know. In any case, uh, let's keep on working on this young Drake. But I'm actually going to use Visage of Death's Herald to make him frightened, assuming that it hits. So maybe I'll wait for the Blessing before doing this and just shoot him again. You are going to... You're actually tanking three people, so let's swap to Defender Stance. You are buffing. Let's slow down time, please. Now, I want you to come back a bit, please, because if he shoots fire, he's going to hit everybody, which is not good. Oh. It looked like he was starting to breathe fire there. Okay, insightful. Shot. Okay, there, there, there comes the fire. Back up, back up, back up. Good luck there. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, that's that's why we backed up. Swap for the Warbow. Terrify the young Drake if I have the range for it. It's also important. Come here, Shoti. Okay, so you go fight there. Shoti is going to... I think I'm... I, I, I was thinking about Interdiction, but I think I'm going to save for the Restore. 
I have a scroll, but still. Okay, so let's just... Let's just wait for now with her. And you should be doing... Ah, uh, the range is way too short. Way too short. Just keep shooting then. Okay, he healed up. Uh, can you move like over here and start hitting? Mm, here? Okay, good. Okay, so my rogue is still working on the drake. And the drake, more importantly, cannot reach my party. That's exactly what we want. Let's keep on working on these. Mr. Piggy is doing nice damage as well. Let's not ignore that. And my rogue is doing nice damage as well. He's bloodied right now. Keep on shooting. I have no boars here. Awesome. Just saving up my healings. Steady damage from the rogue. Tiny Mustache Man being awesome. If I take one more hit, I'm gonna heal. And hopefully the next shot will kill him. Don't breathe fire. Don't breathe fire. Oh my god, please don't breathe fire. Don't breathe... Okay, let's, let's heal. Because it's getting dangerously low. And honestly, you should be using this. The armor rating and concentration. I'm not using the drugs because I don't want the crash effect. Does it make sense to spare that? Uh, I don't know. Let's just drink this. Please die. Oh my god, man. Just kill him, please. If he breathes fire, it's going to be very bad. Oh, he's going to breathe fire. Is there? Rest in peace. Oh, come on, man. We <laughs> we were doing so good. What? Wait, what? Did he miss? Wait. He hit Mr. Piggy. Oh. Okay, so Jesus is with me. <laughs> he missed. He missed. I love it. Okay, so you, you... You didn't finish drinking this. Which annoys me. Um, go there. Keep shooting this bitch. And please... You missed three times in a row now. Um, I'm gonna move closer. And I'm gonna heal. Uh, I think like this should work. Yes! Okay, so a very big threat just got killed there. I think we're actually going to manage this fight without using the, um, the custom companion. And that makes me very happy. Oh god, is there drink the potion? I don't get it. Why isn't he drinking the potion? Am I doing something wrong? Is he getting interrupted by something or, or some? I don't know. Dude. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want to drink the potion. Let's just heal again. I don't get why this is happening. Okay, Shoti healed. Good. Are you healing? Oh, finally he healed. Who am I shooting? That one. Dead. Good. Very good. Okay, I think I think we have this under control now. Yeah, I think I think we're fine now. Thank God. So, this was a complete mess, <laughs> and still, I think this was like my most successful attempt at this area ever. And trust me, I've tried this many times before. Knock him down. Not on this run. I, I think also playing around with the Warbow helped out a lot, because the steady damage coming in from the Warbow is really helpful. I usually played with um, an Arquebus and and uh, dual pistols, but you lose a lot of accuracy doing that. That's what I found out. And then when you got to the um, 
piercing immune enemies. It was just sadness. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, go flank. Okay, we found a strategy that works. I'm also going to say that this is partly uh, because of what happened with uh, this kill here. Because we killed an enemy instantly with the barrel, which is always useful. But then okay. we were able to catch one of the, the, the higher level boars alone. And usually they come all together. That makes a big difference. Did somebody get left behind? Maybe another boar or something? Because I think there were two boars. Was this a boar? No, I think this was just on a barrel. Never mind. I didn't kill anyone, actually. So, I guess it's not entirely in my favor. Because when I blew up the barrel, I had two very low HP enemies. And on this, on this fight, that they all came in, they were all full HP. So I had a Worm on very low HP, I had a Panther on very low HP, and the young Drake, I think, also was about half HP, because he also took the blow of the, of the barrel. And when I fought them, they were all full HP. So I guess it kind of evens out, I suppose. Okay, so again, <laughs> I'm very surprised that I was able to do that without my usual beckoner strategy. Um, but yeah, I will say again, if you are having trouble with this area, because it is very difficult, at least to... Oh, this was also a way to come over here. I forgot. Um, consider recruiting a pure chanter, beckoner subclass at the inn before coming over here. With the worm invocation ability, it helps out tremendously. We found a abandoned cat called Gosha, and I also forgot to use this because ugh, because I, I always forget things. Why do I always forget things? Why? So many games, so many years, and I always forget to use the items. And I mean, this Berath's Black Bell, I think this is the blessing I got for helping Berath in PoE 1. And this is a use kind of item and this heals for a flat amount and it damages for a flat amount so this is mostly useful in the beginning of the game that's what makes sense to me and i keep forgetting it and it also frightens oh my god this is, this is so good and i just didn't use it because i'm a dummy <laughs> well at least i use the poison and i'm using traps which is something that i always forgot I'm using healing potions. I am improving. <laughs> I am improving. I kind of want to craft... More scrolls of healing. That was very helpful right there. That was very helpful. If not for this scroll, it there would have died. Well, not died. He would have fallen down. Okay, en enough, enough chatting. Let's see what else we have. We, oh, okay, good. A weather journal page. Okay, before that, I forgot about this. So, um, just like in PoE 1, you can get pets um, by finding them throughout the world. But in PoE 2, they actually grant you additional effects. So, in this case, I'm using Cosmo, which is the, the transparent piggy. He gives everybody plus one to constitution. And this guy... Gosha actually gives everybody perception. And I do like perception a lot more. Wait, what is this? And enemy weapon attacks are less likely to crit against your party? I was not aware they had a secondary effect. And your party is more effective with healing spells and potions. Oh, that's very interesting. I actually, I, I'm kind of inclined to use this guy then. Because perception is really 
mostly useful for my rogue. But extra healing on anyone, on everyone, is going to be helpful for everybody. I did not know that was a thing. Okay, well, very interesting. I'm very happy that I know it. I forgot to use this potion. I tried using it, by the way. It just didn't work. So, <laughs> not entirely my fault. Okay, so put this there. And let's read the, the weather journal page. Whatever Odorisi did to the last batch, it's working. We're seeing much higher concentrations of essence in the Harvest Adra. I only wish we'd let the rest of us in on his methods. One of our Juana workers got the jolt of his life transporting one of the crates, and that's on top of the one that got blinded last week. All Odorisi has to say for himself is that they were careless. I'm the one paying these islanders' families out of my own pocket, at this rate, I'm going to be the one idiot who comes out of this whole enterprise with less money than I started. S, once again. Okay. Interesting. Well, my friends, I am going to count this episode as a major victory. Maybe if you are not familiar with this area on your own, it might have just seemed like a normal fight. But to me, <laughs> it is a major achievement. It is the first time I'm able to do this with only the default uh, party. So only story companions. Very, very happy about that. So I'm going to end the episode here on a high note. <laughs> um, and as usual, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some PoE2 Deadfire. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. Please share your experience with this fight if you have fought it on Path of the Damned. I'm very interested to hear about it. Um, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.